It's very easy to maintain and clean the Viper XPT6000. To do this, you will go to the menu section, press fluid maintenance, and then choose clean. Remove the front cover to observe the tubing lines and nozzles. Place a chamois cloth on top of the platen. Set the fluid in valve to none. Press the start button and allow it to run. The machine will purge any of the pretreatment fluid in the lines back to the pretreatment fluid container. Press next on the menu. Change the fluid in valve to water. Change the fluid out to waste. Press the start button. The machine will flush water through the lines. When the pump turns off, press next. Change the fluid in valve to none. Leave the fluid out to waste. Press the start button. This will flush the, the water in the lines to the waste bottle. When the pump turns off, click next. Change the fluid in valve to the pretreatment fluid selected. Change the fluid out valve to the same fluid container. Press the start button. This will fill the system with pretreatment fluid. When the pump is finished, press the finish button. If you desire to clean any of the nozzles or are going to be emptying the machine and storing them, or if any of the nozzles are indicating that they're clogged by not having a consistent spray stream, you can simply unscrew them here, remove the nozzle, and then using the Viper anti-venom solution that you can pour into the supplied container here, place the nozzle in it, and allow it either to soak to dissolve the pretreatment solution in there, or agitate it slightly. If more cleaning is desired, you can remove the nozzle and use a supplied brush to brush any debris out. When satisfied, replace the nozzle in the machine using the, the nozzle adjustment tool. Screw the nozzle back into place gently, not tightening down fully. Once it is close to being fully tightened, place the nozzle angle adjustment wrench on the end of it. Bring the wrench to a 90 degree angle out from the machine. Hold in place and tighten the nozzle in place. The nozzle is at the correct location.